and up to 180 days in jail. Well, dove hunting season is arriving in Texas. The first part of the season begins September 14th and runs through October 29th. Texas Parks and Wildlife sets the daily bag limit at 15 with no more than two white tipped doves. Legal shooting times run from half an hour before sunrise to sunset. The state also offers special white winged dove days. That's October 8th through the 10th. Legal shooting times for that weekend are between noon and sunset. When you're hunting, we ask that you make sure you have your hunter's education if that's something that you need and make sure your shotguns are plugged and that you're abiding by all the bag limits. Well, all hunters should have a valid hunting license for dove hunting. Officials say the license should have a migratory game bird endorsement as well as a harvest information program certification. Well, if you're looking for a family friendly event to attend, then Danielle's got you covered with something fun for all, especially the kids. Oh, yeah, especially us big kids, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited about this one, Adam. It's a great cause. That's why we're really excited about it. The Carnival of Hope event is happening as hosted by DHR Health and Kiwanis Club of Edinburgh. Now, it's all being organized in support of our children in the Rio Grande Valley, uh, specifically those who have been affected by childhood cancer. It's a really good thing to take part of, be aware of and there's going to be food on site. It's all uh, free of, uh, of charge to enter. There's going to be plenty of refreshments to keep cool, especially in this recent heat that we've been experiencing. Plus, there's also going to be fun and exciting games to engage in, and that means a whole bunch of things for everybody to do on location and all together. And there will be live musical entertainment to sing and dance your heart to, which is always so fun, plus plenty of prizes to look forward to taking home. Big ones, small ones, all types. And if you can just so happen happen uh, to imagine yourself a small business owner there on site. You might have opportunity to have a small table to promote your business there. It's all going to be going down at the Edinburgh Activity Center from 2 to 6 in the evening. Again, free of charge. So cool. And you can mark your calendar for Sunday, September the 24th so that you don't miss out. Now, if this sounds like a plan to you, it does to me. Feel free to visit the website on your screen there for all the info you're going to need to know. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, guys, ask me why I don't work at the carnival. Why don't you work at the carnival? Because <laughs> it's a lot of hoops to jump through. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jessica. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Jessica, didn't you like it? It was great. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Adam liked it, right? I did. Thank you, Adam. Yeah, oh but you know what? Even though I don't work there, a lot of other people do, and they're going to make sure it's fun. Yeah, <laughs> no. Carnivals are great. And what I like about uh, here, like, Sunday. You know mm. what I mean? So Sunday, sometimes people don't have things to do. Yeah, a lot of stuff aren't open, yeah. especially for the kids. Mm -hmm. So take them on a Sunday, support a good cause. Yeah. They'll get tired and they'll go to sleep early and they'll be ready for school the next <laughs> exactly. morning. Exactly. Yeah. As far as I'm aware, I think uh, September is Childhood Cancer Awareness mm -hmm. Month, so this is kind of just in time. I know this sits close to my family because one of my cousins had uh, was diagnosed with cancer as a child. Mm -hmm. So this is a great event. And just like you said, we love supporting the local children. So this is going to help local yeah.